Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at double iron bash melmetal in the ultra league to see if it's worth your investment as far as buying the ticket because if you're not aware for whatever reason I just figured this out because I just didn't believe it at first I had to go and confirm it with people on Twitter and look around on the internet but you do in fact have to purchase the current ticket for the whole melmetal thing to actually evolve a Meltan into Melmetal to actually get Double Iron Bash. Now, yes, you're also going to be getting one at the end of your task, but I honestly, I'm not looking for that in any sort of way for compensation. Like, oh, we get a Melmetal already. Like, it's nice because you don't have to evolve one, but uh, usually the IVs are trash for me, so I don't even care. Uh, I've evolved quite a few. I did have the level 50 Meltan that I did evolve into Melmetal. I'm going to work on getting that best buddy. So I will have a Rock Slide version and a Double Iron Bash. You're going to want to go with Superpower pretty much all the time. I mean, you could go Double Iron Bash Rock Slide, I guess, but uh, it's not going to be looking too great if you do encounter another Steel type. So with that said, we're going to be taking a look at quite a few battles here. we got a nice 30 minute video for you. So if you could hit that like button to show your support and help me out, it really makes my day. It helps the channel a bunch and it's just all around puts me in a good mood. So if you can go ahead and hit that like button, that'd be much appreciated here, folks. We're going to be pairing it up with your Galgi the entire time. As far as that third Pokemon, we're going to be periodically swapping it out. As a matter of fact, we're going to be taking a look at a few incidences where the game just straight screwed me over where you actually pick a specific pokemon in the front or change your pokemon on your team and it kind of just maintains that last team that you did have we'll look at that our opponent didn't really realize i felt like he could have kept attacking and done a little something there but he just kind of laid down there all right let's go ahead and get into the commentary met with an umbreon they're going to be swapping into a jellicent we're going to swap into our Dugalgi a little bit late after farming up energy I sat there for a second like, what am I doing? Both of my moves are not very effective. I need to get the heck out of here. So we do bring in the Dugalgi. We shield up a Bubble Beam. And we're in a horrible position as they do land the Shadow Ball. And we're down a shield. And we're down on our attack. So great. So they're going to be shielding up our Outrage, which is just even worse at this point. Oh boy. So we're double shielding and another freaking Bubble Beam. They get me with that. And this has to be a Bubble Beam. There's no way that's already a Shadow Ball. So our attack is down by, what, three stages? So we're going to go ahead and retreat into our Melmetal to kind of recover this here. Holding onto the energy with our Dragalgy, bringing in the Melmetal. And we're just going to start double iron bashing to get this thing out of here. And unfortunately, they're actually able to get to a damn charge move, which is going to be another bubble. So now our attack has been dropped. They're bringing in their Umbreon. And I'm thinking, okay, now as much as I want to just start throwing these super... Actually, do we keep on throwing them? Well, we have to just wait for that switch clock, essentially. So yeah, we got to keep throwing another one here. Looks like we might be able to swap after this one here. Okay, unfortunately, they're landing it, but we're going to be able to survive. So what we're going to do is swap into our Dragalgy. Go for the Outrage up against our Shieldless opponent. It's going to do a decent amount, unfortunately not KOing, but that's okay. They're going to be getting off their last charge move, and that's a lot of energy they had stored up there. All right, so we can bring in something to farm them down. It's going to be that Melmetal, and they're bringing in a Wall Rain immediately, and we've got a Cresselia in the back. So we're going to go ahead and go for that Superpower. Can we get to another one? We do great. Now this is, uh, whoa, we go for Double Iron Bash. Okay, we had the Superpower. All right, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Bringing in the Cresselia. We do not have Grass Knot, but we're going to be able to handle this situation here. That Umbreon is, is out. I mean, it's got no health left. They're going to be backing out. We take that win. Now, what's better? Personally, do I think Double Iron Bash or Rock Slide? Do you need Double Iron Bash? Let's talk about it. In my experience using it, no, you don't. You can still you know, rock Rock Slide and you're fine. When what? You go up against a Steel type or uh, should I say a Fairy type? You hit it with super effective double iron bash, but you could just go with rock slide still. That's going to be giving you coverage for those fires as well as those flyings. And it's just a nice move and you're still going to be getting ice coverage. I mean, you got super power at the end of the day, so you got that. But if you don't want to debuff yourselves, you can still go with the rock slide. So technically, here it is. You do not need double iron bash. It's a nice little fun move to have. But if you do not have the cash or you just simply do not want to give Niantic your money for an exclusive move, then yeah, don't really worry about it. It's not really changing the game too extreme here. There is different matchups and it can do better perform wise up against certain things with Double Iron Bash. But uh, 
it's just a fun move to have on it. We've been talking about how it needs it. Here it is. So there's no way I'm passing it up. I'm buying every ticket. That's just the way it is when I have a job that is revolving around Pokemon Go. All right, Dragaji up against Swampert. We're going to go ahead and keep on calling all their <laughs> Hydro Cannons here. I had no plans on shielding it up. It's not so much that I wanted to call it. It was just the fact that I wasn't going to shield them up. Bringing in Melmetal, and then we're going to let it go again. Another Hydro Cannon. Now, Double Iron Bash is not very effective. Rock Slide's not very effective. So, Superpower is basically what you're going to have to go with here if you actually want to do damage. And since we're going for the Superpower, we're going to be debuffing our attack and defense, and that's still not enough. They're bringing in that Giratina. Now, we're going to throw a debuffed uh, Iron Bash. Uh, it's Double Iron Bash. It's still not doing much. It doesn't really do much in general. Okay. We do resist them, so we swap to uh, refresh ourselves. I'm just trying to pull out this win here, folks, okay? I didn't want to back out. We're not able to take them out, and they're getting to a charge move. Hey, that was a good attempt there instead of just backing out. It's always, it's always okay to just back out if you want to, but sometimes I feel like fighting. Next battle, we're meant with a Zapdos. This is great as we are going to be Dragon. They're going to be retreating into Obstagoon, and we do have Articuno on the team now pulling out that electric up front. If you're like, what the hell? Why is there a Zapdos? Well, that's the algorithm for you, okay? you put It's not the typing of Articuno. It's the moves that we do have on it. We've got Icy Wind as well as Ancient Power, so it's pulling out that Drill Peck and Electric. That makes no sense. Well, I, I'm not here to explain it a thousand times. That's pretty much it. I've already done that in the past. Anyways, up against this Obstagoon here, we're going to go ahead and go for another Outrage. And they're letting it go. Retreating with a little bit of energy, bringing in a Snorlax. I'm going to retreat with energy and bring in our Melmetal. Now, we do need to look out for Super Power. Obviously, it's going to be doing a lot. I'm going to throw mine first. And at this point, they're not going to be able to KO, but it's going to do quite a bit. They're probably going to be able to get to a Body Slam, which is also going to be enough to take us out at this point. They don't really need to go for another Super Power here. And that's exactly what they do. So we're not going to bring in Dragalge because we're just going to farm us down. So we're going to bring in Articuno, farm them all the way down. We're going to come out of this with a lot of energy. Now that Zapdos is going to be doing quite a bit of damage to our flying type. So we got to be very careful here. So let's see what they're going to want to do. Bringing in that Zapdos. I was I don't remember if their switch clock is up or what, but uh, we got to be careful for a potential catch. So I swap into Dragalge to do a bit of a combo breaker. And uh, we're going to be able to unfortunately let them farm up a bunch. I just realized I was like, oh crap. We resist uh, electric, so they farmed up even more. So they got energy retreating and catching with their Obstagoon. And I was thinking, well, that's a wrap. They're going to be able to get to two charge moves here. Drill Peck and then another Drill Peck should do it almost. Nope. We're taking them out. Taking that win. Let's go. Next battle, Dragalge led with a another electric type. Just a coincidence because we've got that, you know... <laughs> It's just a coincidence. Anyways, this is a decent matchup. This is a great matchup. I'm not going to lie. This is amazing. They're going to keep on debuffing us. We resist everything because of the dragon typing and then the poison for the lunge. They're going to be swapping into a wall rain. We're going to retreat with energy as well as them. Going for a superpower first. Eh, don't really care at this point. We're going to get a shield right out the gate here. Now, Earthquake is going to pretty much KO us, so we're going to go ahead and shield that up, and we're calling it great. We might have survived barely, but I'm not too familiar. Probably not. Well, now we're not. Now we'll easily get KO'd. Getting to another superpower, we're going to be going crazy here. Could have baited, should have, could have, would have, with Double Iron Bash to get those shields at first and not debuff ourselves, but that's just a thing. Would have, could have, should have, now we're just going to have to deal with it. So we got two Pokemon that are technically not wanting to go up against the wall rain here so we're going to go ahead and bring in articuno the better of the two which is actually going to be able to absorb it a little bit well, not a little a lot better because we're going to be part ice so we're going to throw the ancient power do some good damage and swap into our jigalji and snipe them they're bringing in a guarantina <laughs> they're bringing in a gunantina all right <laughs> going for an outrage that is just beautiful that's just beautiful Easily letting this go. We need to hold on to that shield. Dragon Claw is going to KO. Bring it in Articuno to farm them down or at least try to. We needed to hold on to our shield for this Galvantula. I thought they might be able to get to an Ancient Power on their uh, Giratina. But uh, nah, we're going to be able to go first. Take them out with Icy Wind. And uh, we're looking good there with that good. All right. Now I just want to show you all how fun my account is and how I just can't catch a break. And I'm <laughs> pretty sure Niantic put some sort of a hard lock on it here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pick our Giratina, which one we want to use. We're going to go ahead and use the Shadow Force here. Now, once in a while, it will swap out that Pokemon that you previously had. and doesn't even go with the one that you just picked, but that's been an issue in Go Battle League for quite some time. What are we met with? A Gramble. Oh, 
Oh yeah? When we put Giratina up front, we got a Grand Bull? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and swap into our Articuno as they're bringing in their Lapras here. This is already uh, not good for us uh, at all. That Lapras is resisting electric. <laughs> uh, resisting electric, wow. Resisting uh, our ice. Yeah, we got super effective ancient power, but it's not even getting stabbed. Uh, Articuno is a tank and so is Lapras, but their quick move is just simply doing more. And their surf is really doing a lot more as well because they're getting stabbed. All right, so we're shielding it up. I want them to use a shield. All right, great. They're not able to farm too much here. Now we'll just bring in the Melmetal. Uh, they can hit us with Surf, I guess, but we're going to stop them right beforehand, and hopefully this Double Iron Bash is enough to take them out. And it is great. Thank you, Melmetal. And there it is. So we know exactly what's on the team here. Uh, this isn't looking good. If I swap, they're going to be bringing that Gramble right back, okay? So we're going to go ahead and bring in Giratina. We'll let this go here. And at this point, we're pretty much screwed. So at least we have Shadow Claw, I guess. I'm trying to get to Shadow Force, but that ain't happening. So, useless move for me right now. Going to go for a Dragon Claw. Of course, we're going to let it go. I bring in the Melmetal. Now, this is what we're going to have to do here. I mean, honestly, we've already lost. Uh, unless the Dragonite does not have Superpower and they have Hurricane or something like that. If they do, then we could win, as a matter of fact. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw the iron, Double Iron Bash. Getting to another one here. I think we might even need to get to another one. Yeah. Yeah, that, I'm telling you, this move is okay. It's just really not that strong. See, having Rock Slide, that's a wrap. You win instantly. All right, so they don't have it. They hit me with Dragon Claw. What? They're either Rock and Hurricane. They have Super Power. They just didn't want to win so they can get in the video. Uh, or I don't know. I, I just really don't know. Probably Hurricane. Next battle met with a Swampert. Okay, finally, they're giving me a good lead. It's just too nerve-wracking going for Shadow Force, building up all that energy. To just have it be shielded uh, as opposed to just spamming Dragon Claw at this point. Yeah, we could have maybe gone it off there, but it's always woulda, coulda, shoulda. I mean, if we can all know the future, I mean, we'd, we'd have perfect lives pretty much. So let's let's not get that. You need to call it. You need to do this. You need to do that. And it's not you all. It's just these idiot sticklers out here who think they're PvP gods. <laughs> What a sad existence. Anyways, they're bringing in Obstagoon. We're going to go ahead and go for our Dragon Claw. And we're just going to sit tight here because we do have that Melmetal in the back. It does have Super Power, but we don't really want to go up against that. Technically, Articuno is not our counter, but it can go up against it. So we'll just have to work past it at this point here. Well, we're just going to do as much damage with our Giratina. And they're going to be throwing here. Great, no problem. Sounds good. Taking me out. One to one shield, bringing in Articuno. We've got that Obstagoon down to about half here, a little bit less, and we're going to be able to take them out. We're letting all this go here. Articuno is just a tank, already know that. Taking hits left and right, no problem at all. All right, bringing us down below half. Hopefully, there's something in the back that the Melmetal is going to be able to handle, hitting them with an icy wind. They shield it up, and I'm thinking, I don't know, man. There must be something in the back that doesn't want to see us. I'm going to let this one go here, getting to another icy wind. <laughs> this is getting pretty crazy here. What you got back there, buddy? It's a Venusaur as I immediately swap. I didn't even check the type. I just swapped immediately so they can't get any farm. And we're good to go here. Everything that that thing has is going to be resisted. Although at the end of the day, that Frenzy Plant is still going to be hitting pretty hard. Now, if it was a Shadow, <laughs> they would be able to put in a lot more work, right? But uh, then they'll be taking more damage as well. Getting to another one and they realize that they can't do it. They back out and we take the win. So what do you think so far with the Double Iron Bash? You like it? It's pretty good. We've showcased it before, but I just wanted to bring you the Ultra League here, and I'm definitely going to be bringing you the Master League because I do have a level 51 already powered up. Okay, and you can't Elite TM it. You cannot Elite TM Double, double Iron Bash yet. Maybe at the end of the season, but for now, you're going to have to actually purchase a move. Literally purchase a move. But what's the big deal, Poke? We got legendary raids that have exclusive moves. You got to pay for those too. Yeah, but this is a different different caliber of uh, making you pay for a move. <laughs> a little wacky. They're bringing in an Ampharos. So we're going to retreat with energy. Almost wanted to go for the Shadow Force, but they probably would have shielded it up. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our Melmetal here and uh, have a little fun. So Double Iron Bash is not very effective to that electric. So uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go for that superpower here. Let's see if they want to shield it up. 
and they do of course they do all right going for another one here and i do believe if i recall this they don't oh, okay i thought they double shielded that thing letting it go and they have a whole hell of a lot of energy we got articuno in the back what is going on here folks this is not looking good shielding this up and using our last shield up against them with that brutal swing going for the dragon claw we have to protect that articuno at all costs here getting to another one which is going to be bringing this down pretty low almost ko on all right retreating with energy and bringing in a cresselia I, for whatever reason, threw Dragon Claw just to do a little bit of damage. Maybe could have held on to that, but uh, the Amphros is so low. I think we can take them out in like about one Dragon Claw. Or we could possibly come out of this with energy after the Articuno does go down. So we're going to be taking a Moonblast and going for the Icy Wind, unfortunately, after they got off their charge move. So now we're going to be able to take reduced damage. And being a tank already, to take a look. Take a look. No problem. One more will still survive, but it's going to be pretty low. They could almost farm us down. But after we get off another Icy Wind, that's a wrap. Yeah, they're going to be retreating and bringing in that Amphros. Folks, this is getting pretty damn crazy, isn't it? Bringing in the Garatina to farm them down, resisted by the Electric, getting to the Dragon Claw. If this doesn't KO, this is pretty much a wrap. They pretty much had energy on there. And they survive with one HP. Wow, that was a good game though. Nonetheless, GG's to my opponent. We've got about 10 seconds on the clock there. All right, so I was talking about how I put that different Giratina. All right, so we've got the shiny up the front. Okay, we got the shiny up front. And oh, what? It gave me the regular one. Why did it do that? You see that? And we're going up against a freaking Pidgeot. So if I had Dragon Breath, this matchup would have been completely flipped. This whole battle would have been completely different. But now we're going to have to do not very effective Shadow Claw because the game said, no, buddy, you've got hard mode account. We're going to make sure you go in there with not very effective quick move up against that normal. As soon as I seen that Trevenant, I was like, yeah, this game is bullshit. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just back out here because I've got Tapu Finn in the back and Melmetal. And they straight gave me hard counters it's like lovely. OK, so we're going to go ahead and see if they'll give us our Giratina that we want to use now. You see that? Look, we didn't have it and we picked it now. OK. It's clear as day, one's shiny, one's not. Okay, so we can all see that clear. All right, oh, it gave me my my shiny Giratina. Oh, really, it let me use my team that I picked? Man, that's awesome. All right, so up against Gyarados, which is doing super effective Dragon Breath and can hit us with super effective Crunch. So we're gonna go ahead and retreat into Tapu Fin, which was this everything, and they did what I feared, retreating with energy and bringing in, well, uh, I mean, I guess I kind of fear Toxic Croak because it's going to hit me with a Sludge Bomb, then I'm going to probably fall for a bait first, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about it. At least we're going to be able to go in here with Giratina and go down to uh, Farm Down Funky Town. Uh, hitting up that Surf, there's no need. We've gotten Bolt Shield out of them at this point. We're good to go. Go ahead and take me out. I don't really care. Good stuff. Now we're going to be able to farm down that Toxic Croak. All right, getting a decent amount of energy here. Still holding onto a shield, immediately swapping into our Melmetal as they do bring in their Gyarados. And we're going to want to hold on to that last shield right now. Hitting me with a Crunch, we do resist that Dragon Breath. Unfortunately, Double Iron Rash is going to do no good for us here. As opposed to Rock Slide, we could have taken them out yesterday. So we're going to go ahead and throw the not very effective Double Iron Bash at the Gyarados here. Yep, look at that damage. Pathetic, right? So building up to just about two. Oh, we're farming them down. Wow, big move here. A little brave, right? Going to go for two superpowers. Are we going to be able to take them out? Looks like I built up a little bit more. Should be able to get to another one here. They can't farm us down with that not very effective. Oh, we just do a combo breaker. K -k 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 combo breaker. Bringing in Giratina and taking them out with a Dragon Claw. Let's get it. All right, let's keep it moving here. And leading with Giratina again, met with an Obstagoon. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 of course. Okay, okay, still got the Tapu Fin on the team here. All right, so we're switching it up. Looks like Dragalge took a seat on the bench, and I was mistaken about it being in the battle the entire time. But hey, here we are, up against an Obstagoon. Obstagoon, okay. Can I catch a good lead here, folks? Every set, I have about maybe one good lead. The rest are hard. The rest are hard. And the way, when I watch some of these people out here, I don't. But when I did, they had all these easy leads. It's like, what the frick is going on? How? Oh, I get it. I remember when Pokeminers, I said this before, I'll say it again. Put out some uh, data regarding how Niantic can control each account individually. Individual settings for each person. Okay, so it's not like we're all in the same mass settings. They can screw with you as much as they want. All right. So they got a wall right now here. We're going to go for a superpower. And now we're going to play our cards right by going for a double iron bash. And look at that. Beautiful bait. Let's go. Earthquake. Eh, it's going to KO. We debuffed ourselves, but they bait me with a freaking icicle spear. They're down a shield. No shields. So I'm just going to go straight superpower here. 
and that's enough to take them out. And bring it in an Ampharos. Uh, we're going to let this go here, hitting me with a Brutal Swing, swapping into a Tapu Fin, which is taking Super Effective from that Shadow Ampharos. And this is getting a little bit crazy. Let's get it. We're going to go for the Surf, shielding up that Brutal Swing. Doesn't really matter. Not very effective or not. We need to hold on to our health. And we're going to be able to Water Gun that Shadow Electric-type Ampharos. All right, let's go. All right, we're going to be using Wigglytuff. I got sick and tired of this game, of the Giratinas that it was starting to hard counter me with, which you're not going to be seeing. So we're going to throw on Wigglytuff to see what we can do with this. This is a level 50 Wigglytuff. All right, so let's go. All right, I, and even after making it, I've still got about a thousand plus XL candies. It's crazy. So we're met with a Cresselia. This is not particularly the best matchup in the world, seeing that we do have Dragon Breath. Shadow Claw would have been better. And we've got no Shadow Sneak, just Ancient Power or Shadow Force. So, yep, we're stuck just going with Dragon Claw here and just chipping them away. But they're going to retreat into a Giratina with Shadow Claw, in which this is the perfect opportunity to bring in the Wiggly Tough and take control of the situation here. Are you kidding me? This is exactly why we used it, and it has Shadow Claw too. Thank you, Algorithm. Thank you! And they're going to go for Ancient Power, which is starting to dig in, but we're not going to really have to worry about shielding that up. They're going to be able to get to another one here. And you know something that I wish I could do? Remove a move on my Pokemon. I hate this Ice Beam. I kept tapping Ice Beam for whatever reason. Freaking Dazzling Gleam had cost the same energy, pretty much. And it, it, it made me lose like three battles. And I'm not gonna show them because you have no idea how infuriating it is. I gotta tap Ice Beam for whatever reason. All right, swap it into Giratina and uh, well, here we go. We're just gonna have to make do with what we got. Playing around this situation after we did debuff ourselves with the Melmetal up against that Verizion, which is going to be doing super effective to the Melmetal. Shielding up the Stone Edge correctly, still holding on to one shield. We're going to let this go because you cannot hit two Stone Edges back to back. Getting to the Dragon Claw, and this is starting to really look up for me here. With the Giratina and the Melmetal, they're going to be swapping into the Cresselia. And I get to the Dragon Claw just in the nick of time. And I'm going to have to shield this up. Oh, or not. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Th th that's good. That was the plan. I needed to... They wanted me to shield. If I let that go, we just farm up extra. Take out the Cresselia with a double Iron Bash. And then take out the Verzion with the Super Power GG's. All right. So we're taking that win there. Next battle, we're going to be met with a Lugia, which is not really great. Uh, I didn't realize I have an extra sensory. So we swap in a Wigglytuff and they bring in a freaking Charizard. I'm like, yeah, no. It's not like I'm being super hard countered. This is just a typical Pokemon that you're going to be seeing out here. Letting it go, and it is going to be, unfortunately, a Blast Burn. Building up to almost Ancient Power. Hopefully, they shield this up, and they let it go. <laughs> oh, baby. Don't think we're going to be able to farm them down before they get to another one here. No, right? No, we do. Everything's going to be opposite, if I call it. Bringing in a Wall Rain and going for the Ancient Power, because I'm not trying to do regular old damage here. And uh, they're letting it go. Still holding on to two shields. Going to go straight for the double iron bash to see if we can get a shield right out the gate here. And we do. Great. Perfect. Costs a little bit less energy than superpower, so it is going to be pretty nice for that bait situation. And we're shielding up an Icicle Spear. They're going to be retreating into their Lugia, which isn't bad. We do resist the quick move as well as the charge moves here. So we got to make do with this situation. How are we going to play around this? That wall rings back there still with slight energy. All right, so we're just going to keep on spamming them here. We're going to let this go, unfortunately. It is just going to be a sky attack. Oh, okay, that's great. Building up to two of these, so we have energy ready to go for that wall rain. Hopefully, this is enough to take them out, and it is great. Bring it in a wall rain, and we're going to go for the double iron bash here. And get their last shield. Swap into our Giratina, because they're not going to be able to farm us down. We're going to let this go. Have them use their energy. Bring back the Melmetal. Hit that superpower and take the win. And we're looking pretty good here. We had to maneuver around that one as well as the last one. But it's pretty fun when you have to do that. And we're looking good here. All right. Let's keep it moving, folks. If you haven't hit that like button, please make sure you do so. A Togekiss up against our Giratina. Freaking lovely. So I swap into our Wigglytuff. They're going to stay for a minute. Bringing in their Galvantula. As we are going to be resisting their lunge. But uh, they go for discharge like nah, buddy. Down you go. We get to the charge moves, but we're not able to get them off. Now we're in a horrible position here. They had a Chris or a Togekiss up front, so you would think that there's going to be something else in the back to resist, I don't know, steel or protect them from steel types, right? So we're going to farm them all the way down. Great. And here we go. You ready? So we have two ancient powers just about. We have all that energy built up, swapping into Melmetal. They did not swap immediately here. So there's there something in the back that doesn't want to see us. It's a Kingdra. Okay, not particularly a horrible matchup for the Kingdra, uh, but not really great, I guess. So we're going we're gonna to go for the Superpower. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know. Double Iron Bash is not very effective. They're water hitting me with an Octazooka and dropping my damn attack. So at this point, I'm thinking, well, I don't want to keep on debuffing myself. So we're just going to go for the Double Iron Bash. I'm just biding my time at that point. I wasn't trying to do damage. It costs less energy, so I'm not going to waste it. So we go for that, take them out. We're looking good. Getting to an Ancient Power. We just had to win that matchup. That's all we had to do. Okay, and we're good to go. They're letting it go. I'm holding on to my shield for the last second. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sweet. Bring it to the Mel Metal, and we're going to do a k -k -k combo breaker and take the win with Double Iron Bash. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done Hey! So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic! Touch the deck. This is the best day of my life.